Live from the studios of KYMB Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey on Tonight with Gary and Jules. Four hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests and a few surprises along the way. And now, here are your hosts, Gary and Jules. Well, good evening, and here we are, our fourth program. Fourth. From fourth. Wow. From eight o'clock till midnight, it's Monterey on tonight. How many hours is that, Gary? I haven't added them up. Four times four is 16 hours of live hours, TV. Lots of hours of live TV, Jules. <laughs> anyway, we are here for the next four hours with your favorite music videos tonight. We'll have some special guests in, and we're going to have a lot of fun. In fact, that's the whole idea behind the show is to entertain and have fun, right? Absolutely, and we want to thank, before we start, Tom Campbell of uh, he, he, Coastal TV Network. He uh, supplied us with the manta rays. Catherine, can you hear that? Sorry, folks, we are live TV, and every time we start our show, I have to remind these folks to shut the door so I can hear us. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Tom Campbell Productions produced a program about manta rays, and that was airing before we went live tonight. And he is on the board of directors for the Blue Ocean Film Festival that's going to be here in Monterey, right. debuting in August. And it is so exciting. And we're actually going to have Debbie Kinder and Charlie on to, to talk about that pretty soon. They're, they, they're going to be coming in to, not tonight, right, but in on August. a future show. Come on. That's a long way You're on. quiet. Well, I'm, What's I'm up? Quiet be, well, I'm quiet because you uh, kind of threw me there when you said, <laughs> I can't hear myself think. Oh, I threw you yes. when I was being thrown. <laughs> It's okay. Anyway, it's live TV for the next four hours. We're going to be here having a lot of fun, as I said earlier. And we want to thank our sponsors tonight. The first hour of this show is brought to you by Me and Ed's Pizza. Oh, yeah. That's Akram. Yes. Over at the corner of Broadway and Fremont. If you haven't been to Me and Ed's, you're really, truly missing out on the best pizza in the area. Take my word for it. It is fantastic. And we're going to order our own pizza here in just a little we bit. We do it every show. We do it every week, and we're going to talk to Akram right after the first song. And uh, then we'll show you the pizza when Gwen, the pizza delivery person, brings it in. Anyway, let's get started with the music. As um, I said last week, more music and less talk. And then after the music, we have a special guest tonight, Laura Davis. She's an attorney here in Monterey. Yes, she's and our first guest. She is our first guest, and we're going to enjoy getting to know her better as well as our viewers and okay. uh, we'll so start, start with some music let's first, get huh? going with uh, one of my favorite music videos of the 80s you always Here's, pick the first I song. always I get to pick the first song <laughs> he always does. and they're always my favorites <laughs> and they're great Gary and you here's uh, here's Huey Lewis and the news and the heart of rock and roll let's go Monterey on tonight well we are back and Juliana oh, is calling uh, Akram at me and Ed's to order our pizza and you wanted well we're getting Akram on the line you wanted to talk about that video we just saw oh I do we've got um, Huey Lewis in the news they had nothing but problems while filming that, that video. video absolutely yeah. nothing but problems in the Times Square scene it was freezing it was 21 degrees and the band members had to wear shorts and sleeveless t-shirts and then when they did the Brooklyn Bridge shot the helicopter, it was windy that day and they couldn't get close enough and had a near accident. It was just a riot. And his wife was pregnant. Oh my goodness. So at the same time, so it was nothing but delays. <laughs> lots lots of stuff going on when they make those music videos. Do you remember what year? Videos. That was no, from, I, I don't remember That was from 1984. Exactly. 84, Heart of Rock and Roll, one of uh, Huey's biggest hits. That was a great pick, Gary. And one of my favorites. I know, that was a great pick. Anyway, have we got Akram on the line? Akram. Oh, he's here. Okay, okay punch it up. Okay, let me put you, hold on real quick. Akram. Hey, Gary, how you doing? How's your how night? are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Good, good, good. We want to turn up the volume here so we can hear you. Okay. How's everything at uh, me and Ed's tonight? Fantastic, fantastic. Can't ask any, any more. It's beautiful, beautiful night. Great, yes. great. Well, uh, we're going to get a surprise tonight, we yes, understand. Uh, Gwen is surprising us. Gwen is on her way, and uh, it's going to be a beautiful pizza. Uh, I made it myself, so you're going to love it. You did. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Yes. And we don't know what it is. And, uh, and we're going to be surprised. No, I, mean, I know. I heard that she's on 
you don't care for onion that much. <laughs> no, I onions. did say no okay. onions. No onions. Surprises no onions. No onions. Well, but, an, but anything else is fine because we want to be surprised. Absolutely. And absolutely. everybody, everybody here in the studio can't wait, Akram. Oh, no problem at all. And, and, so now, are we still featuring the ten-dollar large pizzas at me and Believe it or not, it's a huge hit, and everybody loves it. And I'm going banana with it. I love it. Uh, people enjoying their, their pizza and, and, and it's just coming out, flying out of the door, a lot of deliveries. Uh, well, wonderful. We had, and that's, uh, we had that's an, three toppings, right? Yes, it's three topping okay. pizza for $10 only and uh, you can just walk in and get it and you can uh, order it on the phone, we deliver it, free delivery. And, okay. Uh, and we're here all the way till uh, almost 11 some tonight. Uh, give wow. us a call and we'll deliver it anytime. All and over the they, place. And if they want to come down, the music is playing. You've got the jukebox wow, going, right? Any time and enjoy the night. And we have plenty of uh, good music, good television, sports, uh, the whole nine yards. So come on. How can in you miss? Point. Absolutely. Me and Ed's at the corner of Broadway and Fremont. And the phone number is 899-0101. Come on down, have if fun. If you want to order pizza, 899. Order two, order three. Yes. <laughs> Leftover pizza. <laughs> beautiful night, beautiful it's pizza. It's on the screen there. We're Copy here. down Enjoy. the number, 899-0101. Call up Akram, tell him you're watching the Monterey on Tonight Show. So that's a point for us with Akram. Don't forget to so tell them. Keep, getting our pizzas. <laughs> keep it up, you guys, anytime. No problem. We don't ever want you to stop doing this for us, Akron. Hey, we love you. We're going to do it anytime and no problem at all. We're, well, we're, we love you too. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. And you know much. what? Next week we're going to show you a picture of Akron. I have it on my iPhone. In fact, maybe Dave can even do that tonight. We'll oh, yeah. try. Oh, my my oh, big smile. <laughs> okay, Akron. Thank you, guys. Take care. Night, Thanks guys. for the Thank pizza. Thanks, Akron. Bye bye. No bye bye now. He's such a great guy. You have to stop by me and Ed's and, and go in and say hi to Akram. Uh, he's the franchise owner of the me and Ed's here in, on the Monterey Peninsula. Once you try me and Ed's, honestly, you won't want any other pizza. It's that great. It's such a unique recipe. They've been in business for over 58 years. Yep. With as many locations throughout the Central Valley, up and down Southern and Northern California. This is the first one here, here on the, the Monterey yeah. Peninsula. And so, we're so happy because yes. now I don't have to bring it here anymore from Fresno. We used to import our mayonnaise <laughs> from Fresno. I put it in the wing of the airplane. <laughs> I'd order it before we left, put it in the wing of the airplane, and, and 38 minutes later, I'm in Monterey we with me. Yeah, it's for with your mom. Pizza. Your yeah, mom. hi, Mom. We have to say hi to hello Mom. Hello to Mom, and hello right. to our viewers that were kind enough to email us. We have Joyce, who was a winner, by the way, last right. week. And we're uh, going to have another a little contest later on tonight. For those of you that are watching that would like to enter, that, uh, uh, you go to our website, www.kymbtv.com. We can't see this, but this is a gift certificate for Alberto's Restaurante. And he's going to be one of our sponsors tonight, and uh, Alberto has a wonderful restaurant in Pacific Grove. And I have this gift certificate for $25, and it says two, and there's no name there yet. Right. So if you would like to submit your name for the drawing, it's at kymbtv.com through our uh, feedback form on our on our homepage. Yes. And if you entered last week for the drawing and didn't win, we went ahead and included your name. But we'd love to hear from you again, just to know you're watching out there. Absolutely. So um, enter uh, to win our uh, $25 certificate tonight. And uh, you'll enjoy the food over at Alberto. He's going to be one of our guests later on this evening. So you'll get to meet him. And he's got some great stories as well. Sounds What's great. the next song? Oh, this is fun. This is Olivia Newton-John. Oh, yes. 1981 physical. Yeah, this is a great mu music video that Olivia did in her heyday. And, and this song in 1981 was banned in South Africa. You're kidding. For the lyrics. I always think it's about exercise, right? You yeah. Know, just, she's in a jogging suit. Well, that's that's the whole idea. That's the way I look at it. So yeah. anyway. Okay. Anyway, it's a Have fun music fun. video. So Anything? I got nothing. Pencils! Yes! I want a pizza! Had to work late again. No, don't wait dinner. I'll just grab something. It's a taste worth working late for. Pizza's made to a higher standard. Mionettes, two fun guys, one serious pizza. 
Okay, and that is uh, our Me and Ed's commercial. That was the music video, Sarah, and you had something to say about that. Well, the uh, lead singer, Mickey Thomas, his wife was named Sarah, and that song was named after her. That's right. Yeah. And uh, the lady that's sitting next to us Gwen. is Gwen from Me and Ed's, and How she just brought doing? us... Fine. How are you tonight? Pretty good. And you yeah. brought us a surprise pizza, and you don't even know what it is. Akram, yes. oh, you do know what well, it is. Well, I, I looked, but um, Akram was going to tell me, uh, well, he told me to pick what kind of pizza it was, but then he made it anyway without asking me what I wanted. So. Oh, next so. week. But next week you it's get a combination. This is what I was going to pick, actually. It's oh. our studios and the uh, the folks in our audience here in our studio audience we didn't are all, have dinner tonight no and that's, that looks really good that's, that's gonna be great <laughs> can we go to another music video yeah. right now and then we can go <laughs> have our pizza are you hungry too gwen i am you know it's really hard my car always smells like pizza all day long because i deliver it so yeah <laughs> so uh tell uh, everyone how we can get me and ed's to uh to send the pizza out to their home for $10 for three toppings. Just give us a call. We take uh, orders up until 11 o'clock tonight, so just call us up. And the and number's we'll on the screen there, 899-0101 is the number to call. Uh, me and Ed's uh, the best pizza in town. And this is a, an excellent opportunity to try the pizza at this price because this isn't the, the normal price. It's, right. it's yeah, such it's a really high cheap. quality pizza. Yeah, it's, it's so affordable, so this is really a, just the perfect time to, to try it. You will fall in love with it. Uh -huh. It's not if you fall in love with it. You will fall you in love will with fall it. You will fall in love with it. It's a fabulous yeah, pizza. So. Okay, so next it. week now, you get to pick the pizza. Definitely. Uh, if oh, I'm okay. coming next week, then I'm picking the pizza. All okay. right. I'm going to well, have some, too. We're, <laughs> okay, that's great. We're going to play some more music for you while we all go out into the... Uh, the studio here and have a bite of the pizza. What's our next video tonight, Jules? This is, you know, this is an interesting song. Car Culture Club, Karma Chameleon. Karma Chameleon. Chameleon. Yeah. 1983. And it's about, the song is supposed to be about people's fear of standing up for something. Uh huh. So, you know, when they have a fear of it, so they kind of turn into a chameleon and into something else anyway. But it's a it's a great music yeah, it's video. Yes, classic thing. 80s. And MTV. we want to thank Cool TV for yes, providing our yes, music yes. videos. And coming up soon, you're going to have a 24 hour a day music video channel here in Monterey. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Cool TV Music. It's going to be on one of our sub channels, KYMB's over the air sub channel. So uh, all you're going to need is an antenna, and you'll be able to watch music videos. Well, we're going to go see Comcast and yeah, try and talk them into carrying this, because this right. is a great channel. But it'll start over the air. Yes, absolutely. And then hopefully Comcast will uh, put it on. And we're bringing cable. music now. So yeah, it's well, a taste. absolutely. Well, it's we've a taste had, of it. We've had a lot of folks who have liked the classic music videos. Yes, absolutely. I like them. I do, too. Okay. Here's another one. Okay, we got a little mixed up there with the music. What happened? That was Corey Hart. Uh -huh. And before that, that was not Culture Club. It was Brian Adams. was Brian Adams. We are going to have Culture Club on very, very soon. But first, we're going to introduce you to... Um, Laura Davis. Welcome, Laura. Thank you very much. Attorney. She's Laura. an attorney here on the Monterey Peninsula, and welcome to our Monterey on tonight. Uh, I was fortunate that I was able to uh, work with them in getting them into their Ryan Ranch uh, at least. Uh, That's where the new, new facility now. is, new mm -hmm. space. So I had a great opportunity to work with them and to work on that um, that lease, and then uh, they brought me in to do some of the your, your Town program on uh, Canner Y. We've State seen you. Station. And what day is that? That's on the first Friday of every month. Okay. At yeah. five o'clock. Okay. Yeah, on cable so, channel twenty four. Cable channel twenty four, and it's on ampmedia.org as well. So, yes, they stream that live on the web. And then it's well, on the radio too. It's Jim Boss and, and it's on KNRY so uh, twelve forty a.m. Thank you. At Trimalcast. Trimal, Trimal. Trimalcast. <laughs> wow, but I, I have not one. heard that word before. <laughs> <Me> there. <laughs> I like that Trimalcast. Anyway, Laura, welcome to our show. Thanks Thank for coming me. in tonight on a, on a Saturday night, and um, we're sorry we had to take you away from your family, but. 
We you know, won't I keep have just you had too a great long. piece of pizza. Oh, oh good. It's wonderful. So I'm, I'm so happy you got the sample. The kids of love to go to me and Ed's too. And it's well, a great place to take oh, children. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Families. Well, they've got the jukebox, and there's so many, so many they've fun things to do. Yes, that. lots of fun things to do. So and I know you wanted to talk with Laura about a couple of things. Oh, yeah, about your firm. Your firm has been in Monterey for how long? Well, I've been a practicing attorney for 21 years, coming up on 22 years. Uh, I opened my own firm in July of 07, so we're coming up on three years. Great, here. great. Um, really liking it. Um, I love my offices in Monterey. And, Super. Uh, and what are your area, areas of speci your specialty areas? Uh, my, my, my primary areas are uh, state planning, wills and trusts, and post-death administration, okay. and, uh, and then also business transactions. Okay. And there is an overlap there. So in and around estate taxes, we try to compress value using businesses. Okay. So. You and I were talking earlier about when you spent many years down in the Los Angeles area. Yes, I grew up down there in the Pasadena area. Um, I uh, went to school there. I went to school at USC to, for law school. I practiced down there in Whittier for uh, seven years and just got tired of it. <laughs> you know, too much smog, uh, too Faster many drive-by shootings, you know, oh, and I said, yeah. it's time to leave. So we would had a vacation home up here my family had for a number of years since I was a fairly small child. So coming up here was just like coming, you know, to my second home. So. And so, uh, Juliana and I are much like you. We got here four years ago, mm. and we love it. Welcome. We came over from Fresno, the hot San Joaquin Valley. Mm -hmm. And Fresno's actually grown lots tremendously of and lots of traffic. We're so happy when we get back to the Monterey Peninsula after being in Fresno for a few days. We have to go tomorrow, and um, we look forward to getting back. <laughs> that cool air. Uh, yeah. and, clean. and it's warming and up. Clean air it's too, warming yeah. up there now. I understand it was 80 the other day. Anyway, <gasps> it's okay. Spring is coming. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Well, Tomorrow. That's right. The 21st. Oh, that's wow. Great. Spring that's is great. here. Well, I I, I want to thank you for coming to our launch party that we had yes. with the it's with the Monterey Chamber of Commerce, and mm -hmm. it's the the Monterey Chamber is such a, a wonderful organization in supporting business, and we were so happy to have you there. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm on the board um, this year and next year, and um, I was very pleased to see that, you know, you're going to bring all this vitality into we our community. We are. We're going to have fun with I, our Monterey on Tonight show. One of the things that um, I heard is you have a, a tagline slogan for your business. Uh, taglines are hard. Law with a heart? My law the tagline, with heart? I've come up with law <laughs> with heart, integrity, okay. and grace. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Um, you know, lawyers have such a bad reputation, you know, <laughs> for being aloof and condescending and rude and, um, you know, screaming and all. And, and that just isn't really, you know, how I practice. So I had to want, I wanted to come up with a tagline that, that I thought great. was a little bit more about me, a little more about um, compassion, yes, but a little bit of bravery, definitely devotion, um, and then the, you know, the integrity as well, and to keep that all in one in one place so we're kind of uh we're kind of floating out out there to see how it works super well That's yeah great. so if um one of our viewers has a question and needs uh, to consult an attorney mm -hmm. uh, for a business or for a, for some estate issues mm -hmm. what's the best way for them to contact you it's Laura Davis. Can they look you up on, on the uh, in the yellow pages under Laura Davis Attorney? They definitely okay. can. They can okay. Google her. They, Google. Can, okay. they can Google me. Uh, my website is um, in process right now, okay. but in a couple of weeks uh, with some help, I'll have that up and running. I have a one page right now, but it should become a little broader and more interesting in another okay. couple of weeks. Um, but certainly you can call me at 831-375-2200. Okay. And you're in the book. Okay. And I'm in the book. And if you'd like to find Laura, you can always go to our website kymvtv.com well, thank you yes we'll send them we'll your send way. them your way and Absolutely. you know we'd love to have you come back from time to time I'd and then to. you know as uh, there there are areas of interest that you you think our viewers should know about you know I, I know you can't really do a lot of consulting without individual circumstances mm -hmm. that apply but but if there's some general information we'd be happy to get that out for you happy to do that anytime okay great and we want to always uh, thank you for uh, the work you do on the chamber as well Thank you. It's a great organization. Thank you for your support of it. Well, we are new members. Welcome. Thanks to Judy Courier. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Hi, Judy. <laughs> and so uh, we look forward to many, many years uh, with the uh, Monterey Chamber and 
doing all Excellent. the wonderful things that they do, uh, we'd like to participate as well. And it's congratulations on your award for volunteer yes, of the year. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. That yeah, is wonderful. We're going to have to work hard to earn one of those. <laughs> volunteer. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> when we're not right. working. <laughs> when we're not here, but we'll that's be okay. volunteers. We can do that. Lots of opportunities. Okay, so. we'll do that. Thank you so Excellent. much for coming. Laura, thank you so much for being here tonight on our little show. And, and we uh, imagine your children would probably be looking forward to you coming home, except you're going to smell like pizza now when you that's come right. home. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> They're like, Mom, where's the pizza? Where's the party, like Mom? Pizza. <laughs> that's right. All right, we're going to get back to our music here on Monterey on tonight, and let's see. The, um, do we have? Oh, you know what? Dave, wait, do we have the? Do we have the song? Oh, he's got it. He's got <gasps> the uh, the culture club. Yep. But before before we do that, what? you had made a great point about the Corey Hart song that we played right just before, before the interview. Laura okay. was on. Okay. And uh, Corey Hart, uh, com Canadian musician, who did Never Surrender, uh, uh, one of those power ballads, but he also at thirteen sang for Tom Jones and recorded with Paul Anka in Las Vegas and at 19 recorded demos with uh, Billy Joel and Eric Clapton. Oh, yeah. So um, And he signed with the major label at the age, at the of, age 20. of 20. Wow, and what? you liked that song. I did. It's she one was, of my favorites. She was all happy yeah, <laughs> yeah, great, great song. Corey Hart. Anyway, okay, we're going to do um, Culture, Club. Culture Club because we missed it earlier. Then we'll and then right we'll back. come right back with uh, Sarah and a movie review. Sounds so. great. That's uh, Culture Club and uh, better known as Boy George. Early days of MTV. The, the early days of MTV, and that was actually before Boy George really became a big star. The for the short time he was a big star. That's right, for the short time that he was a big star. <laughs> but he 80s. was for a while. Yeah. Here's Sarah. Look at Hi. Hi, yes. Sarah. Welcome. Welcome back. It feels like we were just here. I know. And well, it feels like Gwen was just here. Seven days goes by in a flash. Didn't she look yeah. cute tonight? She did. She did look cute. Yeah. She's in beauty school. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Didn't know that. So she's going to turn out to be a beautician? Yeah. Yeah. Instead she's of a cute. pizza delivery person. <laughs> well, My you got to make your way through school somehow. Yeah, I guess that was she is putting her And way we're grateful school. for her because we love and, the pizza. Uh, and Gwen's boyfriend is watching. So we want to say hi to him. <laughs> hi, Gwen's boyfriend. And hi to your mom. And hi. Well, hi I already did that. Okay. So hi to mom. Hi to Joyce. Hi to, jo hi to Joy and hi to Gloria. Yes. So oh, all boy. of our Fans. I would say hi, mom, but you're I'm here, right here. So <laughs> I, I, I was wondering when you were going to let the I could go stand over there and you could like say hi, mom. I was wondering you, when you were going to let the cat out of the bag and let everybody know that. Oh boy, yeah. yeah. Well, I think everybody knows. Well, yeah, but you, you said know. Sarah Nicole. You don't have. It's to a say family any... business. I know. Mom but... and Pop TV, right? That's right. Mom okay. and Pop TV. Okay. So anyway, Sarah's so Sarah's here. here to talk about movies. Movies. From the our... movies right here on. Uh, the uh, MGM Library, KYM Beach, Cable Channel 19. Go ahead. Speaking of movies, yes, I just wanted to say uh, your Miss Sarah Nicole is now an actress, oh, too, on the side. Really? I did my first acting gig today. Great. Today. And it went really well. It's uh, I'm not going to announce what it's for because we're still in production, but soon uh -huh. enough, you know, it'll be finished and, and everything. And it's being filmed right here on the Monterey it Peninsula. It is, and uh, I play a, a kind of a big role in the movie. I have quite a few big scenes, uh, quite yeah. a few lines. It's my first acting gig, and we shot from 8 a.m. until, oh gosh, uh, 4? Wow, like long that. day. Exhausting. Should we get your yeah. autograph now? It was fun. Long it day was well, and for you. get this, I had to play a nerdy girl who was 18 and like gets made fun of for not being so pretty. So what so did you have to I do? I had to go to the set with like no makeup uh -huh. and have this like ponytail and like these nerdy glasses. It was fun. But uh I hope well, you did. Did, you, did did anyone get a picture? Uh, I think so. Well, I mean, we're getting I know, a whole movie a, out of no, it. But the, <laughs> a picture. Just I want to see. I can't wait. Anybody take yes, any stills? Yes, we have plenty of stills. Okay. But I just hope that my next acting gigs are like a pretty role. <laughs> <laughs> so you can. Well, you'll have fun doing that kind of work. Yeah, anyways, um, movies that are coming up on yes. our station from uh, 90s and 2000s this well, week. Um, I, I know I'm intending to talk about like the older movies yes. from the 60s and 70s and 80s. But uh, we have... Uh, Christina Ricci in Pumpkin. 
I don't know. Mm. Have you heard of that no, movie? No, I have not. It's from uh, 2002, and it's a drama. Christine, Christina Ricci and Hank Harris. And that's on Monday at 5 o'clock. Now, most of our mo- most of these big movies that I highlight usually replay throughout the week. Yes. And I've mentioned before, you can find the schedule on our website, kymbtv.com mm-hmm. or thistv.com. And we're trying to get the schedule in the Monterey Herald in the Salinas, California. And, and it's right. on the Comcast on that, Guide, too. But, it's on, but it is oh, on the Comcast Guide. Right. Yeah. So uh, most of these movies replay if you can't see them. Uh, other than... Uh, uh, Pumpkin with Christina Ricci. We have Wind Talkers with Nicolas Cage, and that uh, was from 2002. So a newer, newer movie. Did you ever see that no. Wind Talkers with Nicolas Cage? Well, you got to watch it because he's a great actor. Yes. He's one of the best. And uh, and then that replays also some other days too. The next day uh, on Friday at two o'clock, Diary of a Hitman. Now, Diary did you see that man. with no. Forrest Whitaker? No, but no. Forrest Whitaker is a good actor. It's a sure. drama, and it is a great movie. It really, it's it's a cool story. Um, and John Bedford Lloyd, and that's from 91, so a little bit older. Yeah. I was still a yeah. little baby. You were a little girl. <laughs> do, you, do you remember um, Macaulay Culkin? Oh, yeah, of course. Did you notice he's on the schedule? No. He's on our I schedule this week? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, for Friday at 7 p.m., Getting Even with Dad. And it's a family movie. So oh, there's, great. you know. How come I don't have it on my schedule? You do. It's I think I might have a the East Coast time. Yes, you do. Do right? I? Yes. Do How right? did I do that? No, you did it right. I did it right? Okay, yeah, well, well. We'll figure it out on the commercial. Anyhow, you can find our schedule on our website. And we have some great movies highlighted. Okay. okay. See, somehow yeah. our schedules are conflicting because you're looking at one program. And Honestly. I'm, is, it, is it a different week? Here's the this dates. This is the 22nd. Okay, we'll check it out. And yours is the 22nd <laughs> well, sometimes as well. they update the schedule. So yeah, Maybe you got do. an updated schedule. I might yeah. have. But anyways, I wanted to highlight some newer ones because I didn't want everybody on our station to think that They're um, all old it's movies. all old movies. Because yeah. it's some newer ones too. There's 4,000 titles in this MGM library. You're going to see a lot of them repeated from time to time. But they're really classic uh, movies from um, the last 30, 40 years. And it's the stars before they were stars. I yeah. love that line, the yeah. stars before they were stars. Yeah. Or some of them were stars back then, and then they took a break and came back around, like Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Yes, he's in a movie this week. Yeah. Johnny he was right. hot back way and, back and, when. And, and then there's a lot of stars that are no longer with us. That's true. Yeah. So. I don't think we've seen any of those yet. I on have. our schedule? Oh, yeah. I've watched a couple schedule? of movies with... We'll uh, I saw out. Ben Gazzara. He's still with us Who's the other he? day. Ben Gazzara? You don't know who Ben Gazzara is? <laughs> no, Gazzara's? I don't know who he is. Oh, my that is goodness. Who is it? I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll go to the... Can I'll you tell sh- our viewers, too, when we come back? Because sure. there's someone like me. If you yeah. know who he is, Ben Gazzara... Ben Gazzara. Send us an email. And I just wanted to say my email, too, is Sarah... S-A-R-A at K-Y-M-B-T-V dot com. Okay. We might, may or may not be able to get that on the screen right now, but it's easy. Sarah at K-Y-M-B-T-V dot com. Shoot me an email with your responses to the movies on our station. Yeah, let And us I'll know. read them on the station. Okay, great. Sounds great. Okay. 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 Well, we want to thank, thank uh, me and Ed's, and it's getting close to 9 o'clock. It's almost uh, the me and Ed's hour is up, and our next hour tonight is going to be brought to to you by Ola in Carmel. <gasps> Ola. Ola in Carmel. Two weeks so. ago, we gave a, a certificate yep, away. Yes, we did. And last week, we gave me an ads. And this week, we're giving away Alberto's Restaurante. In Pacific, Pacific Grove. Grove. That's one we of my favorite a, restaurants here. Yes. Well, go to the computer. And, and so Ola go, has good margaritas. <laughs> go right now and uh, register on our website. KYMP for that, TV. Uh, for that $25 gift certificate. And we're going to get back to the music right here on Monterey on tonight. We're here every Saturday night from 8 to midnight, having lots of fun playing What's music videos, next? having guests. Asia is next. What year? Uh, 1982. The year is 1982. We'll talk about Asia when we come back. Thanks, and, Sarah. Uh, thank okay. you, Sarah, thank for you. being here. Yeah, and we're having fun. More music. Well... That was a great song. That was. Joe that was. Jackson. Joe Jackson. No, Stepping out. No relation to... The Joe Jackson that was Michael's father, right? No. I checked. <laughs> I had to look when I saw that on our list. Thank you, Cool TV, our new, uh, we're their new affiliate. That's right. I always say it backwards. You, you do get that backwards. I do. And then before that time. was Asia and the Heat of the Night, which is interesting because if you know anything about music, there's the time signature at the beginning of a musical piece. Right. And that is the, that song, In the Heat of the Moment, the time signature is 10 over 4, which is like... Nobody uh-huh. does that. 
Nobody so, does that? Nobody does that. You don't see it very often. So it's it worked. It worked for them. So anyway. And you wanted to talk about? Well, I did. I wanted to uh, let the viewers know who have been with us the last few weeks that the um, Nick Williams, who was a guest on our show two weeks ago, Hearts for Haiti event last weekend was a success. Great. I heard they raised, raised several thousand dollars that are going to the Haiti Relief Fund. Uh -huh. And they had Red Beans and Rice yes, Band and, and, the Nick Williams and, trio. and Nick Williams Trio and several. And then uh, yesterday, Sarah and I went to the Celebration of Life um, benefit. It was a luncheon at the Hyatt for that, the uh, cancer. That was Valerie's. Uh, Valerie Ramsey, who was a guest last week. Yes. She's the author of Gracefully. She was the mistress of ceremonies. And they had a really, is a fashion show, and a, the Hyatt just does a wonderful job. Mark Ayers, the chef, and Mark Bastis, the general manager, do a great job of hosting events there. So we've been busy. Yes, about absolutely. Town. And what's coming up? Well, we have uh, Susan Bradley's event. She's going to have a pet parade, and I'll have some more information later in the show about that. And then um, is that Eastminster? Right, Eastminster, because the Westminster pet show. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the big one. That's the big one, and that's for all of the top dogs and she dogs. wanted to she wanted to have a place for all the other sweet ones that don't make it into the Westminster show so and she so has that's the one that they call the Eastminster. Eastminster and she has a radio show on KNR radio KNRY radio You're going too fast I know my got to catch up with my mind yeah. <laughs> okay Talk but a um, little slower we have also some events coming up at the fairgrounds and we'll cover that the home show the horse show Home show, horse show, rock and rod show, horses, cars, and homes. And this is the perfect place for them to talk about. It. Absolutely. Monterey so. on tonight. If you just happen to tune in to Channel 19 and you wonder what's going on and what this is all about, we're here every Saturday night. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And uh, we do a uh, kind of a music video, classic music video show. That's what you've been watching. Along with some local friends, uh, guests on the uh, show. And uh, each hour has a special sponsor. This hour is Ola. Mexican restaurant. In the barnyard in Carmel. And thank you so much to Bernadette for um, being one of our sponsors. Of course, the first hour was me and Ed's. Notice that we're getting a lot of restaurants. I know. And you know what's great is their food specials are on different days. Yeah. So you can, you know... You can Cover eat all over town. You can. You yeah. absolutely can. And the next hour is Alberto. After, After yes. Ola, and Alberto is Italian food, and that's going to be on. Uh, he's In fact, he's going to be here tonight. He is. He'll be and here. And he's, he's got some great stories. Alberto used to have a restaurant down in Malibu, and all of the stars used to go in uh, to uh, his restaurant in Malibu. He was chef to the stars. He was, yeah. So. And he's he's chef now to the folks here on the Monterey Peninsula. Absolutely. Over on Forest Avenue in Pacific Grove. So we'll talk to Alberto. Well, you have a new mantra for our show. All more talk. No more. More, more music, music and less, less talk. talk. That's so it. shall Backwards. we play another video? I think so. All and right. then we're going to have a, another guest come on, Bob Kramer. Yes. From Tab, and he's going to discuss a bit about what he does. He's president of the local uh, Tab here in Monterey Salinas, and he's an executive business consultant and coach. So wonderful. We'll look forward to getting I'm some sure, tips. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> pe I'm sure people out there will want to hear about his services. Well, thanks for spending your Saturday nights with us. We really appreciate it. We're here every Saturday night, 8 to midnight. How live. do you do four hours of television? Well, I have you <laughs> with me. No, One we, person no, could no. not we do this. We fill it up with music. That's how and we guests. do. And, and guests. And guests. Really but nice that's guests. how we do four hours yes. every Saturday night. We look forward to coming down to the studio and having fun. So we hope you're having a good time out there tonight in TV land. The next song is uh, Kay Lee. By Mary Lyon. And By this, Mary Lyon. And 1985, and uh, the name of the song, Kaylee, is actually a combination of the singer's two girlfriends. He, like, combined their names and uh -huh. made a song about them, which Kaylee. I don't know how each of them feels about that. And it was that. A, a number two hit in the United Kingdom many years back. Uh, again, classic music videos here tonight on Monterey on tonight, so let's go with the next music video, and we'll follow that up with one more, and then we'll be back with Bob. Have fun. And we are back, and that was Lisa Loeb, and uh, to be honest with you, Jules, I don't remember that video. I remember it a little bit. It was early 90s. It was not an 80s genre song. It wasn't a big hit They just hit threw either, us a it? loop. No. no. Well, we have a guest 
to Juliana's right, Bob Kramer. He is a certified management consultant. And um, Bob, why don't welcome? Thank you. And why don't you tell our viewers exactly what a certified management consultant is? Well, I'd be happy to. Um, essentially, uh, the certification process for a certified management consultant is the highest award in the management profession or consulting profession for consulting expertise, and it's awarded by the Institute for Management Consultant. Uh, those of us who are in management consulting, we really try to help business, businesses and organizations operate more efficiently, more effectively, and achieve their goals. Wonderful. And uh, there's a lot of businesses in our economic climate today that can use your service, I'm sure. Oh, indeed, you're right. Absolutely. Yeah. So how did you get into that line of work? Well, uh, I retired from the U.S. Army after 26 years. I'm a West Point graduate. And uh, I tried to decide what I could do after leaving military service for those 26 years. And I decided that the thing that I knew most about was planning into the future because in the military, that's really what we do. We try to look at the threat and we try to be at the right place at the right time and address the threat. Uh, so I took all my skills and knowledge and expertise uh, from the military and applied that to business. I'd always been interested in business. Uh, I have an MBA degree and an MA degree, and um, I teach at business schools locally. So um, uh, it was just a natural process of me going out there trying to help the business community. So I really love that. It's my life's work, um, and I'm hoping to do a, a lot more uh, before I pass this serve. <laughs> how, how many years have you been here on the Monterey Peninsula? Uh, I, I arrived in the military <laughs> in uh, 1981, and I've been here ever since. So really the military is what got you here in the first exactly, place. Exactly, yes. And then you kind of evolved into this business when you left the military. That's right, that's right. And uh, how many clients would uh, a business such as yours have? Well, right now I have hit a kind of a benchmark. I've, I've been with over 600 businesses in my, my years here on the peninsula. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also uh, one of the senior consultants for the Small Business Development Center out of Cabrillo. Oh, wonderful. And so we see a lot of young startup businesses there. Um, with the Chamber, I've been working with the Business Accelerator Program for the last two and a half years. And also, I was the uh, probably the originator of the uh, adopt -a business which is now in our 11th year. So I've been with that program. And now my own organization, which is called the Alternative Board of Monterey and Salinas. And I like to say we help company presidents uh, drink more wine, play more golf, <laughs> and provide more cash flow for their oh, businesses. Oh, that's wonderful. You actually can help existing businesses as well as you can help New business. startup businesses. Yes, indeed. Yes. There are different levels of evolution. They have different problems and different concerns. Uh, mostly for new businesses, cash flow. Right. Older businesses, it's usually people and customers and how to get the, s the systems in sync, synchronization and operating uh, the right way, providing consistent value to the customer client. So if someone is starting a new business uh, that's watching our program tonight, mm -hmm. how do they find you? How do they reach you? Uh, they could easily go to my website, which is www tab, T-A-B, MontereySalinas.com. And what's TAB that, stand for? Yeah. TAB stands for the Alternative Board. Oh, okay. the yeah. Alternative Board. board yes. TAB. Okay. We believe that, um, like every public business, has a board of directors. Yes. What we try to do is bring that whole concept back to the non-public business, the private business oh. owner, and we help them to grow the business. And I think the, the, the issue of having multiply diverse businesses around the table, helping people to think in a broader context with ideas and new thinking and expertise uh, really helps the process. So it, so it sounds like that uh, your services would benefit a business no matter what the industry, whether it's hotel management Doesn't or, matter. No. or we, if we're we all a need restaurant help. or, okay. We all need help, we're in a new norm. Um, in business today, it's really what you don't know that hurts you the most. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody has something they don't know that they don't know. And we try to reduce that window to its smallest. And you also can help them find other people, uh, CPAs, uh, attorneys, Indeed. and we, so we forth. We have attorneys and CPAs and doctors, uh, insurance people, all, all 
combination of professionals. Can you tell us about the um, peer advice and coaching? It says achieve success with peer advice and coaching. And I was exploring your website yes. and I noticed there was a group of business owners at a table. Mm -hmm. Is that a special session that's a part of your program? Uh, yeah. Individual of individual assistance? Right. Is that what that Great is? Great question. Uh, essentially, we are the alternative board. And what okay. we do is we provide a board of directors for okay. every business of eight to ten people and these are in very diverse businesses they do not know each other they're not customers suppliers or vendors um, they're they're separate company owners that understand the concept of risk reward mm -hmm. um, th at one table you may have as much as 200 to 250 years of expertise and experience uh, and when you talk you come to this what I like to call business church every mm -hmm. month for four hours. We talk about the problems and challenges and issues confronting those business owners. And then we feed back to them objective advice on how to take care of that problem. Well, on your website, I watched the video with Carrie Tice yes. at the Hofstra's house. And, and then there was a few other interviews and I, I, I caught the comment about, you know, how, how often do, does a business owner actually work on planning their business progress in, you know, the take take a step back from running it to do the planning. Right. And yeah. that sounds like yeah. that would be... You're exactly right. We are so busy doing the, being pulled into the gravitational pull of our operations that business owners rarely think about how do I pull my business to the future and my goals and objectives uh, for the future, my vision really. Um, and we provide that forum where it's confidential, uh, it's, it's a no-holes-barred think tank environment for business owners to really start to really dwell on how do I get my business to where I want it to be. What a great idea, Bob. Uh, what and, and how lucky we are to have someone like you doing this on the Monterey Peninsula. Well, thank you. Uh, I wish more people now, do you, like that. Do you, do you leave, leave this area to go out and do this uh, in other cities, or is it just primarily here on the Monterey Peninsula? No, right here in Monterey and Salinas. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a, I own a franchise, and the uh, franchise uh, is the largest privately owned peer advisory service in the world. Peer advisory service. Yeah. Remember that. Peer advisory okay. and yeah. executive coaching. I've got coaching. it right yeah. here. Executive <laughs> coaching. Well, thank you very much for being here tonight. It's been tonight. a real pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and if you ever have any um, timely business advice that you'd like to pass on to our viewers, we'd be happy to have you back. Absolutely. And sure. Well, I always do. <laughs> yeah. give, us, give us the website one more time. It's www.tabmontereysalinas.com. Tab, How simple and that it, is. And if, uh, if you don't have a pin handy, you can go to kymbtv.com. Go to our website. Shoot us a, a, a comment on our feedback form, and we will actually send you the link to the website. Bob Kramer, thank you so much thank for being here tonight. Thank you very much. Tonight. It's been a pleasure. It was really, really nice meeting you. Yeah, you Looking too. forward to getting to you know great. you better. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to get back to our music uh, here on Monterey on tonight. Um, more music, less talk, as I promised you last week. And uh, Ready for some? Oh, this is fun. What is, what is coming up next? Okay, you will so recognize this song. Do you remember Rock Me? Amadeus by yes, the Falco, absolutely. 1986, Austrian pop musician. This is fun. And you know what? You have such a fun going on. <laughs> oh, the, don't tell. No, you oh. have such fun going on the internet and researching all to, these videos. Last night, wasn't I? Yeah. I know the words to most all and of she, these songs. She really does. She knows <laughs> the words to the videos. My goodness. Okay, here we go. Uh, and we'll be back uh, shortly uh, with... Uh, our next guest. Absolutely. And, and that would uh, be um, probably Gary Hamada. Gary's coming on uh, later in the show and also Alberto from Alberto's Ristorante. And he's going to talk about all of the stars that used to come into his Malibu restaurant and some really interesting people. Frank Sinatra, Don Rickles, Joey Bishop, folks from the past. So anyway. Thanks a lot, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Enjoy Pleasure. Our, Thank more you. music. More music. <laughs> and we're here from 8 to midnight, and we play music videos, classic music videos from the past, and uh, thanks to Cool TV, and there's going to be a channel coming on, uh, KYMB, one of our over-the-air digital channels, that's going to feature music videos 24 hours a day. Jim's TV is currently on that channel, but they are going bye-bye. Yes, they are. They're going out of... They're going out of business. I guess people want to go to the malls instead of shop on I, TV. Huh? Or they're shopping on the internet. Yep. Yeah. But uh, we're going to replace Jim's TV shopping with uh, Cool TV, 
and we want to thank Cool TV for providing us with all the videos you've been seeing, classic videos from the past, uh, kind of back uh, to the MTV days. You know, when MTV doesn't play music videos, they went to or very few TV, music, yeah, they? reality TV. Anyway, that uh, video that you saw was Dead or Alive. Um, you spin me around. And uh, Dave had a comment about that, didn't you, Dave? Well, anyway, we won't say. <laughs> but we won't say what that comment was. He did. I don't think he liked the outfit the fellow was wearing. But you know what? It was a fun song. Dave is our well, engineer. Before I knew what the video was. But, uh, and uh, Alex is on the controls tonight. Yes. And you want to talk about, thank you, Alex, and you want to talk about Ola. I do, because Ola is our sponsor. Bernadette says hello to yes. everyone. She is located at the barnyard shopping center upstairs and wow they have such great food and we want to invite er everyone to go into Ola and please tell Bernadette that you heard about uh, the restaurant on our Monterey on tonight show that will ensure that we will be able to continue to do this on Saturday if you nights. like our videos it's it's such a help isn't it when the viewers yes help it's, give well, it's our a, sponsors some it's business. a help number one to be able to afford to bring the programming to our viewers and uh, the sponsors that we have tonight me and Ed's Ola Alberto's who's a new and uh, Jose's client underground. and Jose's underground you saw Ozzy and Gregorio here last week and uh, Jose's Underground has music uh, till late in the wee nights on Saturday and nights. And if you're looking for something to do on a Tuesday, yeah, half off at Ola, yep. the entire food menu. Mon oh, actually, it's Monday and Friday lunches and Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights, half off. How mm -hmm. can you beat that? You can't. You, so can, you absolutely can't. If can. you're uh, in, the, uh, in the mood for uh, Mexican uh, food and uh, you want to enjoy the atmosphere there at Ola. It's in the barnyard. If you don't know where the barnyard is, uh, go to our website. It's just off. You can actually know. see it as you're driving south on Highway 1. How could you miss You've it? You've got Carmel by the Sea, the turn off to your right, and to the left, it's the barnyard. It looks like a barn. And you can't miss Ola. No. It's and upstairs. you turn left on, uh, easiest way, wouldn't you say, is to turn left on Rio Road? Yeah, and just kind of circle around. Go by around. the post office and then circle around. Circle around. Yeah. It's but, fun. Uh, go on yeah. an adventure. Yeah. Go on <laughs> Try an adventure. something new. Try something new. You know what I found out? What? I found out that a lot of the people who are in Carmel don't come over the hill to Monterey. Very often. And a lot of the people who are in Monterey don't go over the hill to Carmel. My goodness. It's only a few miles. And in Fresno, where we were for so many years, you go from one end of the town to the other. It's 20, it's 20 miles to go from Fresno 30, to Clovis. 40 minutes you're in traffic. <laughs> And here it's just a few yeah, minutes. People people have said that to me. Oh, that's over in Carmel. I, I don't go over or there. Or that's in Monterey. Or that's in Monterey. I don't go over there. <laughs> Goodness. So try something new. Yeah, Shake really be adventurous. Anyway, okay, what's next? More music. More music. Less and talk. Less talk. We've and, got Gary uh, Hamada on his way. Yeah, at, Gary's going to be on. Uh, and Alberto's going to be on. And we're going uh, to play, oh, oh, a great. Duran Duran. No, this is, uh, we're going to play Dan Hartman. Where? I Can Dream About You is next. See it right here? Oh, Dan Hartman good and I can you. Uh, that's a good video. Yeah, your list is Did more, you miss that? I didn't. You know what? This is like my favorite song on this whole list is really? what you've got. So yeah. cool. So you missed it. I you, sure did. So you'll have to go to the computer when the music's playing and you can tell everybody about I know why I missed it. Dan Hartman. Because when we were previewing it last night, I was busy. Oh, okay. Well, dancing. We were, <laughs> Jules and I go through all of the music videos prior to the show on Saturday nights. And uh, we stay up late, and we uh, go through uh, uh, Google and get all the information. Actually, Jules does all that work, and I just listen to the videos and, and watch him. them. And you sing them. <laughs> she knows all of the lyrics. So anyway, here's Dan Hartman, and we'll do that one. And then we're going to follow that up with Duran Duran. Later tonight, we have Foreigner, we have Rod Stewart, we have Queen, we have The Police, Sammy Hagar, Huey Lewis again. All kinds of great music here from the 80s. So uh, let's go now with uh, Dan Hartman and I Can Dream About You. Coming soon to a beach near you. Did you see that? I wonder if they're talking about the beaches here on the Monterey Peninsula. Great Whites. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the Great Whites. Well, I don't think there's any Great Whites. Are there, Gary? That's the name of the group. Is that oh, that's the name of the group. Yeah, no, but I mean uh, on the Monterey, have, have they had any sharks I don't know. We'll have to watch Gary Hamada's show after this because it's 
That's some great whites. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? There was a very peculiar object in the in the show uh, when and you see my show. We don't know what it is. It's an really? identified. Uh, uh, well, it could be a fin or whatever, but it was pretty large. It was out there swimming around. We're talking about the uh, Four Locals Only on Location that airs on Coastal Television Network. It's and that's right here coming up at midnight tonight with uh, Gary Hamada. Welcome, Gary. And I have to thank you very much for having uh, Four Locals Only on Location on 28 television stations throughout California. Well, actually, it's, it's in six markets. <laughs> You're in six markets, but uh, no, everyone uh, yeah, that has seen yeah. your... Your show really enjoys it, and uh, we're happy now that we're able to give our Monterey folks a, a little taste of uh, For Locals Only, because Gary did a radio show for Locals Only on KRML. KRML. So you're doing what I was doing earlier <laughs> with KRML. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> um, KRML for many years, and um, there's uh, some things going on in the background mm. about the radio station. I didn't know this, Gary. I just discovered today, as a matter of fact, that KRML not only is on AM yeah. 1410, but it is also on FM 94. After all these years, we had some very high ra uh, ratings over the years on AM. Mm -hmm. uh, however, this uh, is now on FM 94.7. 94.7. It's a, it's a yeah. great signal. It's actually called a translator. Mm -hmm. Uh, FM translator, but uh, the signal is very, very good here on the Monterey Peninsula. There, it's in stereo. I'm spoiled now. Most yeah. of the listeners are spoiled. They can't uh, take it unless they listen to FM. Now, That's the problem right. is that they're having a, the tweak it here and there, but uh, it's getting better and better. Well, let's hope that uh, there's an announcement made soon about uh, KRML coming back, uh, and hopefully Gary will be part of it. Um, Any news? Uh, well, that's a rumors? good... Rumors? Yeah, news? there's some very, nothing, very nothing strong... you can talk about Very yet? strong rumors, yeah. Well, I can say that uh, they're very close to a deal. Oh, good. Uh, with a new owner, and uh, should that happen, uh, uh, there's a, a whole new lineup of people that be on the show. A whole, uh, it's all going to be jazz and blues like of it was course. before. It should be. Uh, it's uh, going to take a whole different um, uh, turn as far as promotion. They, they, they want to be the number one jazz station in the world. Well, you know what? We're, we're streaming, the streaming on the web <laughs> yeah. as they did uh, and with the music library that the station had uh, Gary Hamada no had uh, viewers and fans from all over Australia the world. England yeah. uh, I mean uh, well the, the United Kingdom they call it uh, we had uh, uh, quite a, they had we had the studios there uh, in uh, in uh, Great Britain that uh, Madonna and a lot of the other people uh, record at okay now here's a question for you you did radio for many many years and now since we've been around you've been doing television Tell me the difference between radio and television for oh, you, Gary. Yeah. This for a, you. There's been a huge uh, change. Um, for one, uh, I ha when I go out of the house now, I have to make sure I look halfway decent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you, you're aware. I mean, I, you know, it used to be where you never you could it's go out. It's true yeah. because we yeah. were walking into a hotel yesterday, yeah. and we had somebody we didn't Mike know. Mike over at the embassy. Emba the embassy yeah. watches our show. He's yeah. like, hi. And we're like, who is that? Who is that? That's part Until of, you yeah. get used to yeah. it, it's yeah. kind of uh, it's part right. of the but it's fun. It yeah, is. It's part, it's of, the part fun of the of, fun of uh, being on radio is that you don't have to dress up. No one ever sees you. No one ever recognizes you. Once in a while, someone will recognize your voice or whatever. Uh, but, you know, eight years and no one hardly said a boo. I, I had a fan club, and I do have to thank uh, uh, my regards out to Eva Lari for uh, 50 years. Uh, the station has been around over 50 years, wow. KRML. But over 30 years, the Lori family has listened to KRML. Isn't that amazing? And that's not, that's, they're just part of the group. Was KRML, when it, when it first came on the air, was it always called KRML, Gary? Or what did it have call letters other than KRML? That's a good Do you question. Know? You know, that's a question that we really should ask uh, Gil Wisdom. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Ha we'll have to do a little research. Do you know I, his number? We have a phone. <laughs> call yeah, we him. could call him up and, <laughs> and, also and another, ask him. I want to also thank, uh, I think we need to thank people like Gil Wisdom for many years who uh, really scraped along. And I, I got to work with them for about three years. Uh, he is the uh, past uh, CEO for the KRML, and he kept the kept the ship afloat, as they yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 a tough business. The radio business is even more difficult in some some aspects than the television business because uh, we have the two dimensions. We have the sound, and we have the picture with television. But when you're radio, it's just the one stream. The only thing is that what radio has going for it is that it's available in your car. But television is not, at least legally it's not. I know. 
So um, anyway, although you we, wouldn't you wouldn't believe it nowadays, they have them. yeah they have TVs <laughs> hanging in their will cars. You, will now you too. stay around with us? We're gonna play another song. Yeah, yes, sure, I'd be pleased. And just stick around, and we've got stick around uh, and, and some more to talk about. We we actually have a a, a video coming up uh, that's called "Say You Will." Uh, British American rock band Foreigner. Everybody knows Foreigner. But what's interesting about this video coming up is this was made back in 1987 and the director of this video was a fellow by the name of David Leo Fincher uh, who was born in 1962 and um, he made this music video in 87 for Foreigner but he had a nomination in 2008 for the best director for the film The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. How about that? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's movie. Yeah. So he directed and David, this, David uh, directed the movie uh, The this, Curious and Case video. and he also many years ago directed this video by Foreigner. So let's... Uh, Small let's, world. Yeah, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, and all kinds of <laughs> interesting <laughs> information it does. It does. here. So let's go to Foreigner here and this one is called uh, say, say you, you will. will. And we'll be back. And we'll be Gary. right back with Gary Hamada. Okay, we're back. And uh, did you like that video? I liked it. Did you like it, Gary? I, I liked it. I was sort of mesmerized by it. <laughs> <laughs> we love black these. And white. Uh, yeah, black yeah. and white. We love these old classic videos. We also love those of you out there tonight that have sent us emails. I went to my computer and signed on, and wow, the yeah, list. thank you all so much. Uh, especially, uh, I want to say hi to uh, to Karen who used to be Karen Anthony, who is now Karen, is it Vallis? V-A-L-L-E-S? We'll have to ask her. Is that the way you say that? Hi, Karen. Thanks for From watching Fresno. OSHA. Yeah, she used to live in Fresno, and now they uh, live over in Monterey. And, so we'll stop uh, by your business and say hello. Yes. And we want to thank the other viewers, Joyce and Netta and, and Michael. Yes, and Michael, August. actually, earlier you were talking or I guess I brought up Sarah. the name Ben Gazzara. Because I didn't know who it was. And, and you didn't know Sarah who Ben Gazzara was. And Sarah didn't know who Ben Gazzara was. So Michael, who's one of our early viewers of our KYMB from the very early days before we were on cable, he went to um, Yahoo and got some information on Ben Gazzara. And what... Did you want to well, talk Yahoo's about? Well, Yahoo's my mail. Oh, Yahoo's <laughs> I don't know your where mail. he got it. <laughs> well, maybe he got it at Yahoo, or maybe he got it at Google. You know, <laughs> Yahoo used to have a lot of information. Or maybe he just Still knows does. all of this. Maybe he does. <laughs> but he emailed all this info so, on Ben Gazzara. Now you know who Ben Gazzara and Catherine, is. Catherine, who's in our studio helping, she recognized the more successful series, Run for Your Life. Yes. I recognized the movie uh, Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze, I guess he played the villain. Yeah. But And when I'm looking at his photo, it... Then you recognize yeah, I recognize. Ben So Gazzara. he's on a movie on our MGM channel this week. He is, so. and uh, he's still with us. Hasn't passed on. Mm -hmm. Nope. I think he's in his late 70s, early 80s. Do you remember yep. that movie uh, Roadhouse? Yeah. The, where he, ben Gazzara did play the villain, and it yeah. seemed like he wanted to play that part because he was out of character for him. Yeah, it was. Uh, it the really other guy was. that did play the the, uh, the good guy seemed like he should be the villain. It wasn't Patrick Swayze in that <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's a classic. Anyway, thank you for the emails. And thank you to our viewer in Delray Oaks, Richard, uh, and uh, we just have Antina. We just and, have and uh, one, all these. It's now a little after ten, so we want to thank Ola yes. for being our sponsor of the last hour. Ola, uh, over in the barnyard yes. in Carmel. Great Mexican food. And uh, Gary Hamada is with us. Gary uh, does a show called For Locals Only on TV now. And it's on KYMB uh, at Co midnight tonight and the Coastal Television which Network, Coastal, which is another business. Uh, and the Coastal Television Network and Gary Hamada is airing in Sacramento, Fresno, Bakersfield, Sacramento, you said Sacramento. Oh, okay. San Jose, San Francisco, yes. Santa Maria. Yeah. And Monterey. And soon, hopefully, to come, we have a meeting next month with Las Vegas. There's a broadcaster that contacted us. So we, Coastal TV is just growing Coastal, and growing. It is. Coastal so. TV. Gary, you're going to be recognized when you walk into one of the casinos in Las uh, Vegas. <laughs> well, actually, I, got, uh, I told you about Mission Ranch Thursday night. I walked in there, and, and six, you know, three different couples came up. Well, and, see, uh, that's yeah. the power of television. Isn't yeah. it amazing? Their parents actually watched a show in Fresno. In Fresno. Yeah. Well, and you're on quite a bit. Yeah, they, uh, the, the kids have been watching me here. I mean, listening to me here on KRML Radio, but then their parents have been wa so. wa watching amazing. you. Amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, it really is. 
Five well, million households, is that what it is? It That's is. How if, many you, we if, reach? You, if you added them all up, mm -hmm. That's how many we, reach. we reach about five million households. And we're so promoting tourism, to particularly Monterey, Monterey because this is our home. If you but have uh, a business out there and you would like to advertise hey, we in have six several, markets. Several who well, Teeny Shake said he had the best year he ever had last year. Uh, Teeny uh, is one of our early, Latin. early sponsors uh, for the Coastal Television mm -hmm. Network when we first launched. Uh, his Isabella's, his Latitudes, mm -hmm. and uh, of course we've run his cooking show, mm -hmm. Coastal Cuisine, from the, from the very beginning of Coastal Cuisine. Phil Dean uh, produced that for him. He did. Phil's a good guy. Hi, Phil. How you? I hope you're feeling better. I know. Yeah, yeah I want to say good. hi to him. Anyway, yeah. Gary, thanks for being here tonight. Yeah. Uh, did you cover all the points you wanted to cover? Oh, there I on? just uh, well, at midnight tonight. Uh, yeah. For locals only on location, will be uh, on the air. And uh, what's the show about tonight? Last last week you had me on like an hour and a half. You know, <laughs> one show after. I know. Uh, well, the, well, the, con the Concord Delegons. Yes. Well, it's yes. all right. But we, you've done so much with we, your show and then with us. So and Doug Lumsden was uh, co-hosting with me at the Concord Delegons. Yes. Delegons. Monterey so, movie tours. We could have talked to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Governor Schwarzenegger, there, but uh, we decided not to. Yeah. Uh, he well, next kind of, time. He looked kind of grumpy when he was leaving. So I, just, <laughs> I don't I want a grumpy Arnold. <laughs> next, next time. <laughs> but anyway. Um, well, uh, who's on tonight? We'll have Monty Perry on, uh, facilities manager for the uh, uh, very the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Uh, very interesting uh, interview uh, conducted by uh, the, the uh, off-the-grid person himself, uh, Larry Weingarten, and myself. Uh, very hard to get to the research institute, get any in. You have to have special passes. We were not allowed to go in that day. They had something oh, really? going on. So we had to conduct the interview outside. Uh, we also did some uh, a little bit of a video with uh, Moss Landing and the beach where you will see that unusual object, fin-like object out there. And we can't, I have no idea what it is. It could have been a dolphin. Maybe it was a great white, like could you said. Could be, could be. Um, but it, we, it's with our theme song, For Locals Only, uh, theme song uh, composed by uh, Brant Petrie. Uh, and Neil Cruz will be on to uh, talk a little bit about his upcoming show, Cruise Control, all about design and how it functions in the community and homes and also cities uh, to bring communities together. People Great. Together. Okay, that's at midnight. Follows mm -hmm. us tonight right here on Comcast Channel 19. And then in the morning, MGM TV Network will be back. Right. At so, uh, what time does it come back? Do you know? About 5 a.m. 5, 5 or 6 a.m. 5 or 6. So, you know, if you're up that early. Speaking about the Monterey Bay Aquarium, they've got a new exhibit. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, Hot Pink Flamingos, Stories of Hope in a Changing Sea. And we're going to be going to the media event. So we'll bring you some information yes, as we find we'll out about that. that. We'll take some snapshots. So well, anyway, that, great. we're so excited about your shows and, and about the... I'll bring you more I'll information the next time I'm okay. on uh, regarding... Um, uh, Things are moving along so quickly right now with KRML. Uh, yes. I'm excited about Maybe it. Maybe there'll a, be some good news really, there. It is a, his, a historical landmark in. Uh, in so when you're back on the radio, will you have Gary on as a guest? Oh, he was already sure. on. Yeah. So Gary and Gary. Gary is. You have to understand. Gary is an icon when it comes to radio and television. Uh, you see him here on as a host, but he actually was on KYMB for many. KMBY. Uh, KMBY. KMBY for many, years, years and years ago. Yeah. 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 I started so. as a disc. They disc used jockey. to call them disc jockeys. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what they call them now, That's CD And jockeys, did you know he got the call letters for KMBY for Channel 19 that we're building? Yeah, uh, we're we're going to have another channel. Another channel. Another channel. All right, here we go with uh, REM and Losing My Religion. Thank you so much, Gary and Hamada, for being there. And I have a lot of information and about this. And more information when we come back. A couple of videos, REM, and then Rod Stewart. Ooh, Stay fine. tuned for that. Infatuation. <laughs> here we go with REM. Hello, welcome to Alberto's Restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud! 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 Uh, anyway... <laughs> That's Alberto, and he's going to be our guest here in just a few minutes. He's on his way over from the restaurant, and uh, that's a gift certificate that we are uh, going to give, give away. away tonight. We're going to have a drawing. Everyone so that's if you us. are out there watching right now, email us, kymbtv.com. It's actually a feedback form, so if you go to our yeah, website. Just go to, there's a little spot you can just, that's the easiest way to do it, uh -huh. right? Just click on there, give us your name, tell us where you're viewing us from what city 
and uh, we'll enter you in the drawing that we're going to have just before we go off the air tonight. And um, stay tuned because Alberto is one interesting guy. Oh, boy. I think it's going to take several shows to yeah. get his story yeah. out because it's... Some of the stars that uh, ate in his restaurant in his younger days when he was down in Malibu, um, some great stories about the, uh, the Rat Pack, if you know who the Rat <laughs> Pack was. They used to and frequent his here. restaurant. He's, yes, he, he decided. The stars and he's he here. decided to pack up and come to the Monterey Peninsula, and he's had that great little Italian restaurant. I believe nine years in Pacific Grove. Gary Hamada uh, said that when when he was having his radio show some time back, Catherine Nagel, who is our uh, producer for the show Monterey, our Tonight, executive producer, <laughs> executive. It, it, Gary Hamada mentioned that he phoned Alberto's or Catherine did, and it it was the uh, Iron Chef Cat. How do you pronounce? Cat Cora was there eating. I mean, um, that's where she picked yeah. out of the whole peninsula to dine. I yeah, mean, at Alberto's. That, yeah, listen, really if you something. haven't tried, if you love Italian food uh, and you haven't tried Alberto's, you are really missing out. Our friend, when we first got here, Dan Gamble, yes. said you want the best Italian food in town, go to Alberto's in Pacific Grove. And we did. And we have lots of... And it's amazing. Uh, uh, friends. We, we have lots of restaurants that we... we it's amazing but, that all of the sponsors of our shows are food establishments. And they're all unique. They're all wonderful they, they for are. different reasons. Different reasons. So Mexican and Italian and, Italian and pizza. And <laughs> anyway. You know what? We're going to have to go to the gym on Monday, We're going to have to go to the gym. In fact, we're going to have the gym as one of our sponsors. Absolutely. Monterey Sports Center. Yes. Thank you, Jeff Fiera. Yeah, for your we, support. we're getting a lot of uh, new uh, clients. And we have uh, the emails from the viewers who have businesses, and I will be contacting you early next week. And so. are you putting all of these emails now into our hopper tonight? Oh, for, sure. Okay. Yeah. And I have okay, that. And, and actually, the last song, before we go any further, Rod uh -huh. Stewart. Rod Stewart. You know, what an interesting guy. I had never Infatuation. taken time. Yeah, but never taken time to get his story. But he was born um, in during World War II. Yeah. And just within the hour of him being born at home, this German missile landed at the police station nearby. I mean, he was just born in this crazy time and place. Mm -hmm. But he reflects on his childhood and says that he was fantastically happy. He, he was kind of the, the youngest and the spoiledest and had a great old time. But he, he was actually very involved in football. And now he volunteers today with the, um, the Palace Verdes, am I saying that correctly? Uh, soccer. Really? Yep. And he um, was inspired. His music inspirations for, to launch his career was Al Jolson, your favorite Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke, Little Richard, Bill Haley in the Comets. So I think that's one of the reasons that his music is so endearing is because that was, you know, the inspiration. That was the inspiration that, that he had, yes, coming up. So, yeah, anyway. Rod Stewart, he's a great entertainer. So we're having a ball. Thank you for sharing your Saturday nights with us. Yes. We're here every Saturday night, 8 to midnight. And it looks like Alberto just Hi, walked Alberto. in. Hi, Alberto. Hi, Alberto. Sure did. Yeah, yeah. Give us a few minutes, Alberto. We're going to bring you on and chat with you. We're going to have a little bit of music while we get set for Alberto. Uh, we've had um, Rod Stewart on. Before uh -huh. that, we had REM on. Right. And now we're going to put the Thompson Twins video on, which is Hold Me Now. And uh, right after that... Um, a uh, classic music video from Queen from Queen and then we'll have Alberto live and in person right here on our show have fun okay here's the music and there he is that's uh, a photograph uh, hot dish on the stars and there is Barbara Streisand and there is uh, well, let's see my coffee cups in the way here okay ah. Dave. Okay, now Peter, go back down. Peter Falk, uh, Rod Stewart, George Hamilton, Shirley MacLaine, and Bill Bixby. And those are all uh, folks who are in the movie business that the, were... That is correct. Oh, yes. Hello, Alberto. Hello, Alberto. Hello, Alberto. Oh, they yes. were all clients of yours. Indeed. I, almost they were every, diners at your restaurant. Almost every night. We had Barbara Streisand every night. Don Rickles every night, most of the time. How uh, good. Streisand every night. You so you left you left all the stars all of the stars to, to come to the well, Monterey Peninsula. Well, now they can Peninsula. come here and see him. Yeah, right? absolutely. Correct. Yes, yes. If, uh, the, yeah, we have some dishes that that, that I named for them, uh, the the chicken rickles. We have steak sinatra that it was very famous in those days. But you know, we're getting to do more dishes here in the peninsula, 
and I'm very happy to be here. We are so lucky to have you here. Thank you very and much. before you got here tonight, Juliana and I were telling our audience, Alberto, how wonderful your food is. Thank you. Thank when you. we first discovered your restaurant, thanks to our friend Dan Gamble from Fresno, who told Thank us you. about your Pacific Grove restaurant on Forest Avenue. And um, you know what? Um, you have something that you do with the food that is just absolutely fabulous. We had the chicken marsala the other night. Yes. And your marsala <laughs> sauce was as good as any marsala sauce I have ever well, had in so my much. entire in life. Little, in Italy. Even. even in Italy. Better than <laughs> in you. Italy. Thank you. And I'm not kidding, folks. It's just absolutely Thank fantastic. You. And uh, we, we are so happy that you decided to be one of our sponsors here for the next hour tonight. My pleasure. And I know that you uh, still have to get back and lock up the door at the restaurant. We won't keep you too long, but we do, want to, uh, we do want to ask you about those days that you were well, cooking certainly. for the stars. Well, would you like to? Well, you told me uh, that uh, you, you had said something to George Hamilton. He was asking you about uh, appearing in a movie. Yes. And he was he was not sure whether he should take the part, and he asked you, "What do you think, Alberto?" And tell the audience exactly. what you told George was, Hamilton. Well, the time was in Malibu. We very frequently used to go eat there, and he was. I was asking him, "What way in the world you do evil Knievel? <laughs> you don't look like evil Knievel. You evil Knievel is a blonde guy, and you're not. You love to be tan, and you love to be you know, in great shape." I said, "What about Dracula?" Uh -huh. Dracula is for you. That is one of the greatest pictures there is. You are the guy for that. He says, no, no, Dracula is a monster. I don't want to be a monster. I said, but you are a monster. <laughs> in, the, in the first place, Dracula, you didn't know that? Dracula is a count. Count Dracula. Oh, my God. Is, you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Is, so you know so he took the part. I'll take the part. Since the then, part. he became one of the biggest stars. That's right. He became an the star of the gay blade. He had all kinds of the Godfather. He became one of the wonderful stars. So you now don't forget did, that. Did you charge for any of that free advice? Not at all. No George, charge. I love you. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else is interesting that I find interesting is that Don Rickles was a regular uh, when you had the Malibu restaurant. And you know, out of all of the, the, the stars who are now gone, Don is one of the last... Of, of that era. He is the only one that's still alive out of, uh, is he? you know, yeah, Joey Bishop Rickles, and, yes, Joey and, Bishop, and, and Dean absolutely Martin absolutely. and Peter Lawford and Frank and, and Dean and all of that group. They're all gone and Don is still with us. So if you folks get a chance yes. to see the Don Rickles show, he was over yes. in our area, the Fresno area, appearing at, uh, I believe it was the Chachansi Resort. Um, you get a chance to see Don's show do that. It, indeed, I, I think that Don Rickles, I knew Don Rickles about, I was like 30 years ago in La Cienega Boulevard. He used to do work in Gazaris. And it was very hard then to get into Gazaris because of Fox, you know, I remember that guy Fox that, uh, that he had a very good show on television yeah, in those yeah. days. And, and Don Rickles was one of the guys. And it was outside, people waiting outside, get to see Don Rickles with his new, with his new uh, way to entertain people and insulting people the way he. He was always was a master of that. Well, I'll tell you, if anyone stops by your restaurant, Alberto, you've got a million stories for him, yes, as you did. have told yes, us did, the yes. stories. It's so entertaining to go in, not only for the food. And Al you know what I like, Alberto? You cook. You are actually you there are the chef. preparing. Yes, yeah. It's not that you delegate it out for somebody no. else. It's you are the one preparing. And if you want something special, you just ask him. Just ask me. Oh, I want to. I know what I can talk about that go special. Ahead. Go when, ahead. Go um, ahead. Alberto cooked chicken marsala, like Gary mentioned, but after the meal, he served something very special. Oh, yes. And at, at times with Italian meals, you end up with a liqueur like a lime cello, mm -hmm. which he, is... He makes... But this one was a basil cello. Yeah, basil cello. It tasted like basil, and it was a liqueur. Fantastic. Oh, it was so wonderful. And the only place in the world that you could get it... was your it recipe. Is it Alberto's restaurant? That is correct, yes. Right here yeah, yes. in Pacific Grove, right down the street. <laughs> we yes, are so lucky. Alberto, um, do, would you do something special if someone comes in and says they saw you on Channel 19 KYMB, like maybe a bruschetta? Or... I'll be happy. I'll be happy to do that. Yes, indeed. And just just mention, mention the Juliana uh, Coca-Cola show and Gary shows. And uh, it'll be a, right you, there. You know what we're doing tonight for our audience? You see the, the gift certificate that yes. you gave us right uh, when we were in to see you last week. We are going tonight to anyone that goes to our website and oh. uh, 
cover up. There we go. There it is. I don't is. want to cover up Alberto's face. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There okay. it is. Anyway, uh, this is Dave the... you got Dave going crazy on the camera. Sorry, Dave. Our engineer. <laughs> anyway, a gift certificate. $25. For $25. That's good at Alberto's Restaurant. And it says two, and it's blank because we haven't drawn the name yet. And we're going to do that just before midnight tonight. Wonderful. And um, we're going to get our emails in, and then we'll let you know who the lucky uh, winner that gets drawn out of our little uh, fish fish house it's actually jar. our candy bowl is that the candy it's not bowl fish, it's okay candy bar. i thought it was a fish bowl. no it's our candy jar anyway we're going to draw <laughs> out the winner and you can go in meet alberto in person get his autograph because he is famous and, and he has lots of stories oh, and wonderful you know what i love about your restaurant is the interior is so beautiful we've got a commercial uh, spot we played before you arrived yes and i believe um, you've even done some additional yes, painting and artwork, as I, I was have, looking, yes, yeah. since we've been in, so yes, since that commercial yes, was made. I enjoy painting, I enjoy art, and that actually goes on the same level as food, yes. If our viewers want to be thoroughly entertained, and if they want to go in and have the best Italian food on the peninsula, Alberto's is the place. Pacific Grove. So as you're coming down, just so we can give the viewers... Um, over if you know where Safeway is, Safeway. It's almost uh, on Forest, right? On Forest. on Forest. Yeah, it's up at the top of the hill there. Um, on Trader Highway. Trader Joe's is there. Yep. That's a little too far. Is it? it, is, it is it? Is it? Well, yeah. That's you're going too far if it, if you've uh, gone to Trader Joe's coming from uh, Carmel area. But what's the easiest way? What's the, the easiest way is to go take 68. All right. 68. You you uh, you you right across the the, the, the Safeway. What's oh, the landmark? Safeway. Is there a it's sign? Safeway. Safeway. It's Safeway. Safeway. Right there. Right, you're in a little shopping center. Yeah, there's a bakery. Center. Does it, does it say bakery. Forest something? Uh, it says Forest Hill Plaza. Forest Hill Plaza. 1219 Forest Hill Plaza. That's Alberta's what I was looking for. You can't miss it. Right across the and street from what the are your days that you're open? I'm open from uh, uh, Wednesday to Monday. Tuesday we're closed. There's our day off. And, and what time do you open up? We open up at 5 o'clock to whatever. 5 o'clock to whatever. If you happen to be out late and... Uh, and we're still open, and you say, Alberta, well, I'm, I'm hungry. I'll be happy to stay there. 9.30, quarter to 10, I'll be waiting for you, sir. And Alberto, <laughs> and Alberto, reservations are, are uh, yes. a, a suggestion yes. on, the a suggestion on the weekends. on the weekends. Okay. Yeah. It gets yeah. a little busier, but That's I mean, busy. yes. Okay. If you're out there and driving and hungry. Come I see always, Alberto. Yes. And have some chef, chef to the stars. Thank chef you. to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Alberto, thank you for coming you on so our much. show. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you for so we'll much for your back. sponsorship. We'll, have, we'll you have you back from time to time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And maybe next time you can bring some food. Why not? You know, That's and we'll show, we'll, we'll, we'll show we'll show it to the we'll audience. We'll show it to the Yeah. And then after we can eat. Thank you. Okay. Are you okay. hungry, honey? Did yeah, well, that I did. pizza go the through? Pizza, no, I, we I, ate I, it all. We didn't say. The, I, I didn't get any pizza. I think I, I, sp I put a spare piece over there oh, for you. Oh, did you? Yes. You hid some? I hid some okay. for you. Here's, here's the video that we actually were going to play earlier, but because it's a, a five-minute video and we knew you needed to get back, Alberto, and lock up tonight, we're going to play Queen right now, and this is Bohemian Rhapsody. Can I have this paper here? Yes, you can. Because this is about the actual video. Oh, okay. And this... Because this was five minutes, 55 seconds, almost six, six minutes, the, um, the music companies thought it would never make it. Uh -huh. So what they did was they talked the disc jockeys into playing clips of it. Ah. Clips of it, and then to get the, the audience to start requesting it. And that's how they actually pulled off such a long song. And it has a combination of the opera and the rock it's and roll. A, it's a it's, great it's video. very unique. Great video. Very anyway, unique. here is Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody right Thanks, here Alberto. on Monterey on tonight. Thank you. Sammy Hagar and I Can't Drive 55. And there's a story about there's Sammy. There's always and, a story. Yeah, there's always a story. a story. Every one of these music videos has a story. What's the story well, on this one? Sammy Hagar, who was connected with Van Halen, was actually on his way back from Africa, South Africa. He yeah. was in New York, and he was on his way to a log cabin, and it was 2 in the morning, and he gets pulled over. Right. And the police officer said, well, he doesn't say police officer. He says, and a cop said, did you know you were going 62? And Sammy Hagar said, I can't go 55 because there was no one on the road. It was 2 in the morning. <laughs> and that's when the... And so uh, he went home and in 20 minutes had the song wrote. That's when uh, the speed limit was 55 then. That was many I think years ago. it's still 55 in some no. places. Well, in it? some places. Where they want to catch speeders and give them tickets. Or now, speed now. 
Oh, that's true. There's no such thing as speed traps. Okay. Okay. But 55 is pretty slow. Yeah, it's pretty slow by today's that's standards. That's why he said. Yeah, I can't I drive can't 55. I can't drive 55, but he was only going 62. So, uh, we also before that had the police and uh, don't stand too close to me. And before that, uh, Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody, and I saw Dana Carvey and Mike Myers in that video. I You did? Yes. Which I, one? The one that uh, had Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. It was oh. the modern-day version of Queen with okay. uh, uh, Mike Myers and uh, uh, Wayne's World. Mike Myers oh, and that? Dana Carvey from Wayne's World. It was from the movie. Our uh, engineer here is... Yeah, Dave Dave remembers that. He was Wayne's in grammar World, school. Wayne's but World, party time. Do you yeah. remember that? <laughs> That's it. Now anyway. there's something on the internet called Dignation, where they took the whole That's, Wayne's World thing sitting yeah. on a couch... And, uh, it's I one guess of Sarah's the, favorite uh, Yeah, they watch Dignation on the internet. So, yeah. anyway. We are here live. If you just happen to be going through the uh, channels and you uh, happen to wonder what is this all about, music videos from the uh, 80s, classic music videos, this is uh, Monterey on tonight, live from our KYMB studios. We're on cable channel 19. Most of the week we have the MGM movies. Tonight uh, we're going to have the Coastal Television Network. Tonight at midnight it's with Gary Hamada yes. leading off. But most of the time it's movies. We're really Monterey's movie channel. And uh, if you're in Santa Cruz, we're Santa Cruz's movie channel. <laughs> but uh, the other nights, uh, we uh, well, actually Saturday night is the night that we're on live. From Every our studios. Every Saturday Every night. Saturday night, and we play classic music videos. And we have fun, and we hope you're having fun. Yes, it's really a, a, a great, a great uh, thing to go back into the archives of, uh, of the music videos. You know what it is? Music, they're memory markers. Yes, So when they you are. hear a song, it takes you back. It's like traveling back in time to a particular where point was, where the emotion... Where you were at in life. And Absolutely. Where I where I was when I heard that song. And see, with song. me, it was high school in this era. Yeah, And in the I 80s. know we've got uh, so gonna, a couple of more months of, of with Cool TV of this era, and then we're going to move on to, to we'll some be doing other eras. All, we'll be doing all kinds of eras yeah. of music. So if this isn't your thing, the 80s, yeah. just stick with us. Stick with we'll, us. We'll, we'll have something different around. as time goes <laughs> by. Hey, one of the things we want to remind you, if you're watching out there tonight, you can... Enter uh, by going our to our website. Jar. Uh, yes, uh, this is what we have so far, uh, the entries uh, from our uh, website. Go K -Y -M -B -T -V. to our website. KYMBTV. KYMBTV.com and enter. We're going to give away, just before we go off the air tonight, a $25 gift certificate. Good at Alberto's Italian Ristorante in Pacific Grove. And Alberto is our, uh, and has been our sponsor for the last hour. We have five more minutes, 11 yep. p.m., and then and we'll uh, have a... Then we have a brand new sponsor <laughs> at 11 o'clock for the, the, the next hour. So, um, anything else you want to add? Well, I stopped by the fairgrounds office and talked to Alex over there and okay. saw what was going on. They still have the Springfest horse show. You know, I'm not really in contact with horses, but... I love horses. I think they're beautiful, and I think that they are definitely going to be putting on quite a show. That is on April 14th through 17th, and it's free admission to spectators. And what a great thing to take your family or a date or a friend because, you know, connecting back with nature. Absolutely. And then the uh, home show is going to be the 17th through the 18th, and then on the 25th, something totally off subject here it's the electronic waste collection and we have some old tv sets and we do uh, we they take microwaves vacuums and other household items oh wait a minute it says waste collection microwaves vacuums and other household items not accepted so i guess i've got to pull up their list of what they accept. yeah let's go find but it out. probably would be computers yeah computers because there's a lot and of TVs. And tvs and especially with the new digital tvs that are out. Did you know that every time you buy a new television set that there is a $16, $25 charge? For, recy for, for recycling? For disposal? Yeah, disposal on the new and TVs. And then they put them in a big bin and they ship them overseas. Did you hear? Did you well, I watched, with me? I watched 60 Minutes and they said that they were sending them to China and they weren't supposed to be recycling them in China. Yeah. So That's who knows what show. happens to the old TVs? 
But you know what? This show's about fun things, not yeah. controversial things. Right. That's on right. another channel at another time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, okay. that's... Uh, What's next on the music well, list, Well, let's Gary? see. I'll go over to the music list. This is Howard Jones. Oh, this is so much fun. Tell me about Howard Jones. Things Can Only Get Better. And this is 1985. And, um, and who is Howard? Howard Jones? Well, let's see. He is living in... Creek St. Michelle near the Taunton Somerset. I don't know. I've got to pull out a map, honey. Well, to find He's out where He's somewhere overseas, is, huh? but I think he was like one of those one-hit wonders. Was this a one-hit wonder? Pretty close. Uh, things can, can only get better. And then after that, song. another Huey Lewis song. Another one? Yeah, we opened up tonight with The Heart of Rock and Roll. What's next? And uh, this is going to be Huey and If This Is It, which is another Did you know Huey's good video. a San Francisco band? I, I do, and I know that he, he was over at uh, the uh, AT&T this year. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look the same as he did in these videos because it's been a long time <laughs> since uh, this video was made and the one uh, that we well, opened the show with. Well, let's pull out some videos of us. We don't look the same. <laughs> right. We don't look the same either. So no offense, Huey, if you're watching. Anyway, let's go with uh, Howard Jones and then Huey Lewis right here on Monterey on tonight. More music Thanks for you. Thanks for watching. Jose's Mexican Restaurant and Grill. Come in and treat yourself to a refreshing margarita. Experience the warm, delicious taste of Mexico. They use only the finest ingredients and so affordable that you can bring the whole family. Jose's Mexican Restaurant, a family favorite with two locations to serve you. In Seaside, on Del Monte at Broadway, and in Monterey, at Wave Street, near Canary Road. Local and family-owned, come let Jose and Gregario serve you. That's uh, Jose's Mexican Food, and two have, locations. Uh, on Canary Row, one block of Canary Row, and that's Jose's Underground. Do you know the uh, street that they're on? I do, Wave Street. That's right. On Wave Street, one block up. And that's and where the underground is. That's where they have uh, live, music. live music. And then they have on Wednesday nights, they have 80s. And on Thursday nights, they have karaoke. Uh, karaoke. And then tonight, uh, Alex is our engineer. Alex, what was the name of the group your friend was playing in tonight? One Less Than 12. One Less Than 12. Acoustic yeah. Yeah, group? Yeah, they're doing an acoustic show. It's, uh, Are they, they usually do rock, but they're pulling out the guitars. The, the oh, guitars. they did a little different tonight. Are, are no hard there? rock tonight. No it's hard acoustic. Rock tonight. Acoustic tonight. Uh, Jose's you know Underground. I wonder how late they're playing. Sometimes they... Sure. They started at 8, so they might be done. Okay. Um, Jose usually goes, though, in general, until, until about 12.30 or Until everybody two. leaves. <laughs> <laughs> they don't close the doors. It's, no. They just wait for everybody to leave. And then they close <laughs> the doors. So if you're looking for a fun place to go, Jose's Underground for great Mexican food, Jose's Restaurant We're on going Wave to Street. Be, uh, possibly next week we'll give some uh, dinners away there. Yes. This week we're giving away Alberto's, Alberto's $25 gift certificate. So go to your computer and enter to win. We're going to draw. This is what we have so far. Uh, go to kymbtv.com. There's a feedback form and submit. And, and yeah, we'll and let us in. know how you like the music videos. It's uh, it's great to hear from all of you out there in the audience. There's been uh, several viewers who've been with us from show one. Yes. And that's exciting. And this is show four. four. And we are going to plan something special because there's a lot of viewers that we'd like to meet. And we, uh, we could we do it at one of our sponsors' restaurants. We'll figure out when and where. Right. We went to Hope May Nance last week. We did. On a Friday. Was it a Friday Wednesday night? night. Was it Wednesday night for a Wacky Wednesday? Wacky Wednesday we at Me and Nance. Me and Nance. And then we saw uh, Bernadette at Ola's. I stopped in and said hello to her. We, we go and visit all of our sponsors we in do. person. We do. We stop that's by. That's called and Mom and Pop TV, folks. That's right. We, we can stop do by it. and say, say hi, and we plan the whole evening here on Saturday nights. We dig into the cool TV music library and pull out all the classics from the 80s. And uh, Juliana knows all of the lyrics. Almost. Jules knows <laughs> all the lyrics. The ones I don't, I skip. And um, that was a, a Huey Lewis tune that was actually filmed in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Isn't and that they fun? were burying the people that were in the video. They actually did that. They were in the sand. Buried. They were in the sand in Santa Cruz. Yeah, what year was that one done? That does it was say? In, yes, it does, 1984. 1984. Boy, I flew, remember, huh? yeah, I remember 1984. So it's great, a great nice evening out there. I check the weather because we're stuck in here for frost. Yeah, frosts. we have time and temperature here. It's, uh, we're not the see. news, but we do have that. It's 48 It's 10 minutes degrees. after 11, and uh, if you just happen to tune in, you're missing the news on the other channels, but who cares? 
and, <laughs> and you're watching See, the, the most, great a music videos. A lot of people videos. get it on the internet now. That's right. 48 degrees in Monterey, 52 in Santa Cruz, and 51 in Salinas. How about that? And we're on till midnight. And here's a question for you. What? How warm is it going to be tomorrow? I have that. You do? Yes, yeah, 63 degrees. 63 And Tuesday, on. 66. You know, it's really great. I highly recommend to um, I highly recommend to our viewers to go to the weather.com. Mm -hmm. And especially as the weather's changing now and it's been so beautiful is to find a day that's going to be exceptionally warm and just block some time out. And yes. and go I mean, how many people live here? next to this beautiful coast, and don't ever go to the beach. They take it for granted. Yeah, and we, we really should And the folks who come from the San Joaquin Valley just love So we don't to want to ever here. forget how right. beautiful of a place we live and actually buy out the time to, really. to sit book and connect the time. with, book the time. Book the time so you can go enjoy it. Tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day here Take on the Monterey Peninsula. Take a picnic and a book. And you got it. Unfortunately, Absolutely. we have to go to Fresno. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going we to go over to Fresno, to Fresno, Fresno for three days. Where it's, where it's supposed to be in the 80s. Yeah, 77. Yeah. Pushing 80. It's going to be into the 80s yeah, next so. week. Well, spring is here. Tomorrow we'll is back. the first day. We'll be back in time for our next show next Saturday night. That's right. And uh, what's next on our list, honey? Well, we are going to uh, go uh, to uh, Lover Boy. Queen of the Broken Hearts. Queen of the Broken Hearts. And uh, let's see, 1983. The video was. Um, Oh, you know what the was the video? subject of an MTV contest. Yes, the the viewers were supposed to like write in mm -hmm. and enter the contest, and whoever won got to be in the music video. What a great idea! And the 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 person who won in this video, her name was Bridget, and she appeared very briefly. It's only about fifteen seconds in the shot behind the bank of a computer monitor. So there's computer monitors in the video, and she's the one that won. But you know, what an they idea. Only, they, what if we ran a contest, and, yeah. and one of our viewers could come be on our set, and we can interview him, just for, you know, just just cuts. Hey, you know, Dave, uh, not to change the subject, I think that's a great idea, but Dave just did something with camera two. What? Go ahead and take that shot. Uh, people have been asking me, Click what? the other way. What is on your coffee cups? And this TV is on our coffee cups. Um, that is the MGM Movie Network that that is called This TV. Airing over 4,000 um, movies videos. from Polygram. That's what's here on this channel, uh, Comcast Channel 19, during the week. So if you happen to, you know... After the next song, click maybe in. I can talk about the schedule coming okay. up. Okay. Okay. Okay, good idea. All right, we're going to go to Loverboy and then Adam Ant. So we've, we're going to have uh, two music videos for you, Queen of Broken Hearts, and then Goody Two Shoes by Adam App. Let's go to the music. Sounds great. And we are back. That's that disc jockey coming out That's of you, Gary. That's the disc jockey. We are back. This is Monterey on tonight, if you just happen to tune in. I'm Gary. <laughs> I'm Jules, and you are watching us on a Saturday night. We want to thank you, and thank you for all the emails. Yes. And the viewers that tuned in, we've, we've been reading them as the evenings unfolded. We want to thank Joy and her husband. She actually brought her husband into the yes. into the uh, show tonight to watch. So Isn't that great? And then Joy's entered because she entered last week, she so did. she's in the jar. Yeah, and, and if, you wanna, if you want to get in the drawing tonight for uh, a $25 gift certificate good at Alberto's Italian Ristorante in Pacific Grove, California, send us an email before midnight. Go through our website, yeah. www.kymbtv.com. KYMB, your that Monterey Bay TV can, station. Can Dave put that, uh, there uh, Alex, we go. Dave is on a break. Alex, uh, can you, there it is, look at He's that. He's got it. Alex is, these guys are on the ball. He's been working with Dave, our engineer, because Dave's going to be gone next week. So actually yes. next week's going to be a rather fun Nothing. It's, you never know what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting because Alex is brand new, working all of the and you know the dials and switches and, and there's a lot cameras. There's a lot to do. There really is. You know, at one point in time, Juliana and I said, "Well, maybe we can, you know, do it all ourselves." Well, because you have a show in Fresno. There's a show that uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Paul in Fresno. And flying he has his switcher Paul. right here. It's and he it's plays. a one man band. Uh, Ronnie does it all, but I just refuse to have to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and after so, looking at and after looking at how complicated it uh, all is, I'm glad it's like uh, riding a bicycle and chewing gum and skipping rope all at the same time. So should we thank our uh, our guest tonight that we yes, had? Yes, absolutely. Our first guest of the evening, Laura. Laura Davis. She's an attorney in Monterey. She specializes in business transactions as well as estate issues. And she is a volunteer to the Monterey Chamber of Commerce. She won volunteer. Uh, of the year, the year 2009. Yeah. yeah, did a lot of great work for the chamber. And, then and our, we're new members of yes, the chamber, we and we're very proud of that. And we also want to thank Bob Kramer. With TAB. T yes, if you don't know what TAB stands for, uh, Juliana will tell you. <laughs> it's, it's right here. I do know, but I don't want to get it wrong because I don't want to do that. It's called the board. alternative board. It's that the, the word. alternative, alternative board. board. It's achieve success with peer advice and coaching. Yes. What a great idea for anyone starting a new business to have a board help you with your business. What a great idea. That so is. Absolutely. So then, there we, then our third guest was Alberto Bonaf Bonatelli. Uh, well, actually, it was Gary Hamada. Oh, that's right. Gary Hamada. And then Alberti, Alberto Bonatelli from Alberto's Restaurant. And Gary Hamada's show will be airing after... Tonight at midnight, tonight at midnight. right here on uh, Cable Channel 19. There's a, it's a Moss Landing. It's an aquarium research. For locals only on TV. That's the subject, yeah. yeah. And then we yeah. had Sarah Nicole with our movie reviews. Easy reviews. And we'll, we'll talk about that before we go off air tonight. We're going to try and get you some more music here. Yep. And um, we'll just stick with the music the last half hour and we'll... Did we'll, you want to talk about uh, the what? video that we just played, uh, the uh, Goody Two Shoes, Adam Ant? You said there was something... Oh, yeah. That was... Um, it says the title phrase is a disparaging term for someone who is overly virtuous or conformist, but it ultimately comes from the children's story, The History of the Little Goody Two-Shoes, published in 1763. How about that? So, so the whole concept came from that story in the 1700s. Now, if you're, it's 1124, and if you're going to stay with us for the next uh, 35 minutes, here are a few of the videos that you will see. Don't know if we'll get them all on tonight, but... Crowded House is next. Don't dream it's over. I like that and one. And then Devo, and it's called Whit It. Whip It. Whip It. <laughs> well, they misspelled it here. Where? Yeah, right there. Look. Oh, well, mine's right. Oh, is yours right? Yeah, I read it. Whip It. Okay. George Michael, I want you. And then George Michael, the famous George Michael. I think that's about what we'll have time you think, for. Well, that's it. That's it. I shouldn't say anything about no, more. No, we'll surprise them if we surprise get to them. It. Yeah. yeah, you don't want me to talk about centerfold. Jake <laughs> <laughs> Osman. And how about heart? Heart. Oh heart. yes. Yeah. Maybe we could get to heart before. Well, let's see what happens. More music. Here dreams. it is. We're gonna go do uh, crowded house now, right here on Monterey on tonight. Whip it. Class. Devo. Devo. Did you see the whipped cream? Yeah, and we oh. were we were actually uh, talking about the hats. Hats when and the video was playing, I said they were flower pots, painted, turned upside down. What did you think they were? You think they were made special for the video? Uh, I don't know. Not they, sure. I don't, I'm not sure. They were pretty wild. And how about wild. Crowded House? That was a great song. I love that song. Don't Dream It's Over. Yeah, and you wanted to talk about uh, 1986. And then Whip It was, um, it got a lot of airplay on MTV in the early days. And they actually put their own money in to fund. To making the video. And that's not easy when you're a new band. Yeah, $15,000. $15,000 they in put 19, into it. Uh, 80. 80. 80. So they to make funded that. that. And that was a big hit. It was a little controversial, the video. They got a little bit of a, of a problem back then. But today, I mean, you turn prime time on at 8 o'clock and <laughs> some of these crime shows, you see, I was just talking to Dave. You know, anyway, it's different days, huh? You're watching Monterey on tonight, uh, every Saturday night. We're here from 8 to midnight playing your favorite classic music and videos. we are, and we want to thank our staff here, Catherine Nagel, who our is executive our executive producer, producer who's been you, keeping everything on time, and Dave Johnson and Alex Clark who have been our engineers. Yes. And, and next and week, uh, Alex is flying solo while Dave's in solo. Fresno. And we want to thank our viewers, those of you out there in TV land who are watching the music videos. Maybe uh, they're bringing back some memories from the past. I know they do for... And you've been entered into our drawing for yes. our, our Albertos. We, we had yes. some more come on during that song. Take a shot of this, Alex. Yep, that's what we have so far. Those are the entries. So you still have a chance between now and... Uh, 
about 11.55. There was a, um, to another the uh, viewer that won last week, and she's so, she's so cute. She said, I'd love to win again. So she entered again. She's like, but I'll donate it to charity if I win. Uh, <laughs> well, you know what sweet. we're doing, and I know that was very kind of you. You're keeping all of the entries in the basket. Right, when they enter uh, They're again. good for every week, right? Do they have to well, enter Well, last every week, week we had several come in that didn't win, so I left them in. Okay. So they have still have a chance. You still have a chance, yeah. those of you that were watching last week and emailed us. Okay, let's play a little bit more music. Maybe we'll get down to heart tonight. Uh, George Michael is next. After George, a little Jay Giles band. Sounds great. And we've got about, what, 25 more minutes yeah. left? Yeah. We're going to have we a need few a little, We need a little time to... Um, and then, to, the, and uh, then have the heart. contest. This is my yeah, one the, of my one favorites. of the favorites. I want to. I hope we get to heart tonight. We will. Let's go ahead. This hour is brought to you by Jose's Underground. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's your water. No, uh, yeah, I better have a sip. Go ahead. One block up from Cannery Row on Wave Street, and they have uh, music on, actually quite a bit on the weekends, and then even during the week. They've got 80s on Wednesday, karaoke on Thursday. Usually they have the hard rock on the weekends, but tonight they actually have one. Sh <laughs> I'm going to laugh at the Alex going to laugh. Is it one short of 12? One less than 12. One less, one than, less than 12 <laughs> is the group tonight. Leave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's get some music. So let's get, let's get back to more music. Here's uh, George Michael, and let's see if you remember this one. Have fun. And uh, the Jay Giles Band, and that was a Centerfold from 1981 and before that George Michael from 1987 so um, our videos tonight are still in the 80s classic videos from cool music and one of your favorites is coming up boy I'll tell you one of my you favorites waited this is whole night. definitely coming four up. hours or almost four hours for this I, one I song I told you I wanted to we should have just hear. played it first <laughs> no we have to start the program off with a bang okay that's why okay. we started not a power off with, not a power ballad. Not right? a power ballad. We had, that's why we started off tonight with Huey. Do you remember and, uh, what a power ballad is? I do. I told you last yeah, week. It's what was a ballad it? by a rock band. That's right. Good See, memory. I remembered. Good for you. But uh, no, Huey was our kickoff tonight, the heart of uh, rock and roll. And um, we're going to play um, one of my favorites coming up, Heart and These Dreams. And then we're going to have our drawing for the $25 gift certificate to Alberto's Ristorante. So go to our website, KYMB You have a few minutes left. If you just happen to tune in, go to our website, enter the drawing. We've got a few here to draw from tonight. So and after uh, Monterey on tonight, after our, our show tonight, we have the Coastal Television Network that will be airing at midnight. Yeah, I am. And that will feature uh, shows from um, Gary Hamada, Four Locals Only on Location. Who's a local? He's a local. And then we have some really interesting uh, shows from NOAA, the National Oceanic Associ Atmospheric Association. And uh, if we uh, maybe take this opportunity to tell our viewers if there's anyone out there that would like to promote their business. And we did have some emails come in from business the, owners, and I will be contacting you On the Coastal Television early, Network, early because the week. Coastal Television Network reaches outside of Monterey. It's in six markets besides Monterey. Monterey being... 24 hours a day, seven days a it's week. It's all about what's happening here on the Monterey Peninsula to get tourists to come and enjoy the beautiful Monterey Peninsula. And on Peninsula. Saturday nights, we are putting it on at midnight. Yep, and so you can sample it and on then Comcast the morning, Channel 19. We'll, have, uh, we'll be back to the MGM Movie right. Network. And then one of the things you'll notice about Coastal TV Network, especially later on in the night, is um, there will be uh, programming from classic television. Like, I think yes. I put the Little Rascals on, or I, I've got to check the schedule. And, we and have see, uh, but, public uh, domain, classic videos, black and white, uh, Red Skelton, Jack Benny, Groucho Marx, uh, people... Out there probably might not have ever seen any of these. We programs. have it streaming at coastaltvnetwork.com, and we are in the middle of upgrading that stream. Yes. So you can check it out now, and if you come back and check it out in about two weeks, it'll be even uh, better. Better. Yeah. So. Well, okay, we're gonna do Gary's favorite of the night. Um, let's play a heart, and then we'll come back with our contest and then winner, the, and then the last video of the night. That sounds great. And then this this video was from uh, 1985. Yeah. It was their first video to hit number one. Yep. This song, These Dreams. And what's interesting is that Nancy Wilson did the vocal 
on this instead of Ann Wilson. So mm -hmm. I guess they trade off. But uh -huh. Nancy was assigned to do this song. And the day she was scheduled to come in, she got sick. So that's why her voice is really raspy and gravelly. And what happened was the song just like went right to, to number the one. Top, yeah. And all of the producers and her managers were saying, okay, now it's time to perform it. Go get sick again. Yeah. Because <laughs> her they voice wanted wasn't. They her to sound like they, she Like was she did sick. when she cut it. So. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Here's, here's a great song. Here's Heart and These Dreams. Thanks. That was uh, Gary's uh, favorite uh, video of the night. That was Heart and These Dreams right here on Monterey On Tonight. We're here every Saturday night from 8 o'clock till midnight with classic music videos from the 80s, a few guests, and uh, we want to thank our sponsors tonight, Me and Ed's, Broadway and Fremont. We want to thank, of course, um, tell, help me here. Uh, Ola. Ola from uh, the, uh, actually in the barnyard. Um, and we want to thank Alberto. Restaurante. Alberto's Restaurante and in Pacific Grove. And Jose Underground. And Jose's Underground. And we so also those. want to let the viewers know that there are volunteers uh, being sought for the event coming up April 3rd. For, it's a Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sunset Center. They're having a dog parade and it's a fundraiser for the Eastminster Animal Welfare Alliance. And the proceeds benefit several of our local um, organizations here that help animals and protect them and That's give them shelter. That's the Eastminster? Yes, and she, it's actually Susan Bradley. She has a radio show on KNRY Radio every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. So that's who's putting this all together, and they're looking for volunteers right now. The parade actually starts on April 3rd on that Saturday at 3 p.m. So if you can't get there right at 1, okay. if you can get there by 3, you'll be able to see the, the dogs. Anyway, this, this now, is a dog-friendly, dog loving... Dog-friendly town, absolutely. We ought to know. We have two Yorkies. <laughs> we love Coco we do, and Minnie. Maybe we could bring them sometime around yeah, our picture. Well, well, I don't know whether Minnie would handle it. Yeah. You know, we have a Coco and a Minnie, and I named Minnie Minnie in case we ever got a third Yorkie. A uh, Mickey. <laughs> and I was going to get him Mickey, so I'd have a Mickey and a Minnie in there. But. Anyway, quick question. What? Have you booked uh, next week's show? Do you know who any of the guests are? Oh, I'll are? pull that out, but we need to have our drawing. Well, let's do our drawing. Yeah. Let's bring Catherine in, our executive we, producer We are going right to have uh, Dick Burns, who's an author, coming up soon. And... Reach around in oh, there, Catherine. Oh, here we go, Catherine. Catherine. Here we are. And I'll hold and, and just uh, dig down. Dig down deep and anywhere uh, or on top, or it's okay. Whatever, just pull one out and let's see who you one. got. One, okay, Here great. You go. Thank you so much. And our winner <gasps> tonight. Our viewer, this is great. This is uh, this is Michael August, um, and um, thank you. He is. He is really uh, one of our viewers from way back, right? Yeah, we just mentioned him earlier. Yeah. This seriously. Wow. Well, great. Well, Michael, you have to come this all the way great. over from uh, Santa Cruz to uh, well, Pacific Grove. Well, I told him Grove. you should come check out our set. And yeah, our... we invite him to come by the studio here, and he's got a $25 gift certificate to Alberto's yes, so Restaurant. I'm going to fill it out and put his name Put right his name here. on it. And, uh, Michael, thank you very much. And he also said you might want to have the listings put in the Santa Cruz Sentinel. Michael, just call the Sentinel and tell him for us that you'd like to see the listings for all of the that movies. That helps us, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really does. I mean, we, we call... can do it, but they go, yeah, sure, okay. But if the viewers call the paper and say, hey, how about putting your uh, listings in the paper, we may be able to get it done. And we're going to contact here, the Herald, right? Same thing with the Monterey Herald. We're working on the Herald right now. So okay? that's it. So that's it. We've got uh, about five minutes left. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we're going to go out with a Madonna video, uh, dress you up. and. Uh, Will we have time for a second one after that? No, I think it's going to be just about uh, time to go bye-bye. Um, well, if we just sit here for a few minutes. No. <laughs> they don't want, viewers don't want to see us sit here. No, of course not. But anyway, thank you all so much for uh, watching our show. Thanks for the emails, everyone. We're really having fun doing this each week, bringing back the classic music videos of the 80s. And we will be back next week. Thanks to Cool Music. Don't forget, we're going to have a new video music channel on KYMB. And we've got some great shows coming up on. Do you have our schedule for MGM? I think it's buried here uh, somewhere, or at okay. least I saw it. Or maybe you took it. Well, actually, no, you can go to not. our website, kymbtv.com, yeah. and there's a link to the thistv.com. That's uh, a way schedule. that they can get yeah. the, uh, the schedule. The, the but schedule there's some great, the great, great movies, movies and they start out. again tomorrow morning after Coastal TV. Mm -hmm. So uh, the movies are on until we're back next week.
at 8 o'clock Saturday night. See you next week. Thanks again. Have a wonderful evening. And uh, good night, Jules. Good night, Gary. Good night, good night everyone. everyone.